Editing the log is easy in Myriad 5 Playout. If you want to change the order of the media items, simply left click on them and drag them to their desired position. A small grey bar is visible when dragging an item and this shows where the media item will go once the mouse button is released. If you want to remove a media item from the log, you can click on the playtime to perform a soft delete, enabling you to easily restore it by left clicking on it again. You can add a media item from the media wall by left clicking on it and dragging it to the position you want it and then releasing the mouse button. You can do the same with a search result from the library or you can drag one of your favourites into the log by left clicking and dragging. You can also edit the log by using the right click menu. Highlight an item and right click on it and then choose delete the item and from the sub menu decide if you wish to soft delete it or permanently delete it from the log. You can also do the same by using the soft delete button in the home tab of the ribbon toolbar, clicking on the disclosure or down arrow to give you the ability to delete the item from the log completely. There is also soft delete or remove items from the log within the edit tab which we'll look at shortly. But whilst we are using the right click menu let's look at cut, copy and paste and swap of items using the right click. Right click on the item that we want to do something to, we're going to cut Shania Twain here and so we select cut from the right click menu. You can then see a tick next to the item and a blue dialog box comes up to show it's been done. We'll then right click on the item that we want the cut item to appear before and choose paste and we can see it has moved. We can click on an item and hold down the shift key and click on another to choose two or more items. Then we can right click and cut those and then choose the item that we want them to play before right click and paste in order to paste multiple items. Swap is the final option here for editing the items already in the log. Uh, right click on the item that you want to swap, choose swap and then right click on the item you want to swap it with and choose swap and they will swap around. You can also choose to insert or add items and also replace the highlighted item which we'll, we will look into later on. We'll also go over everything in the right click menu in a separate video. Let's look closer at the edit tab. First is item information which shows a box with more details on that item including if it's been played recently and when its next playout is due to take place as well. You can also preview the item on whichever fader or output has been set as your preview audio output. Edit item is for editing the details of items. This is primarily changing things like uh, auto hooks and absolute time markers. We then move on to cut, copy, paste and swap. If you highlight Faith Hill then hold down the shift key and select a further two songs, you can see the ticks as we highlight. We can then choose cut and then we'll get the acknowledgement that they are in the clipboard. Highlight the item that we want the items placed above and click on paste. Even once pasted those items do remain in the clipboard and if you click on the disclosure triangle to the right of the words paste you can clear that clipboard out or you can just go ahead and copy and cut something else without clearing it. We could just paste those three items again further in the log. You can also use the select to soft delete or hard delete the items from the log by highlighting them and choosing your deletion option. Let's move on to replace item. This allows you to replace the currently highlighted item. Uh, this is item dry sweeper 1 shown in blue here. This brings up an undocked version of the media library allowing you to make a choice and then click on OK to confirm your selection. We will choose dry sweeper 3 and it shows you an item history at the bottom so you're aware of its last placement. Add item brings a drop down list of items to choose from. You just select one and then choose your media item and click on OK to add it above the currently highlighted item. The other buttons allow you to change whether an item can be dropped or faded early when in auto fade mode. If the button is dark grey it is on or yes or in computer language true as shown when you hover the mouse over the duration field.